a promised land I discover a quiet bone A peaceful people So you are welcome to a quiet bone Come on, I'm coming I said come, live, walk and invest in a quiet bone This is the promised land Come, walk and live and invest in a quiet bone Since the successful 120 foot 12 seconds flight by the Wright brothers on December 17, 1903, aviation has progressed from just an experimental venture into a worldwide rapid mode of transportation. Today, aviation involves a wide range of infrastructure, human resources, training and related capacity building activities that drive the development of the modern world. Aviation facilities, tourism, trade, connectivity, generate economic growth, provide jobs, improves living standards, alleviates poverty, and provides a lifeline for rapid response in time of emergencies. Given its importance as a viable enabler of economic growth, insightful leaders have continued to employ civil aviation as a vehicle for integrating their nations into the global economy. I think that governance has to do with the level of preparation that a person gets before coming to governance. The governor has been in investment financing, so he, has, he had a bird's eye view of um, a lot of sectors and the aviation sector. When you look at the blueprint of Boom Air, you know that a lot of um, preparation had been invested in it. So that is why despite the economic gloom currently in, in, in the global space, those, um, that, that economic circumstance is unable to affect the growth of Ibom Air. So when you look at their business case, you look at how they are coasting currently, you just simply know that a lot of thought processes had gone into this. Clear-cut, excellent economic management that has been invested into it. And you know that every part of an airline is dollarized and that the Boom Air is currently still running and running optimally without hitches is a testimony to the fact that the gentleman that God blessed Akwai Boom with is capable economically, capable in terms of administration to run that airline. Its advantages notwithstanding, the story of aviation development in Nigeria has not been what it ought to be. With yawning gaps and lapses, it is obvious that there is a long way to go if Nigeria would rank among aviation giants in the world. Gladly, the foray of Aquibum State into aviation development has given a ray of hope to the sector in Nigeria. When the vision of the Victor Atta International Airport was conceived and began to be implemented by the administration of the then governor Obon Victor Atta, it was with a view to making it the hub of aviation business, not just in Nigeria, but in the entire Gulf of Guinea. Let me thank the governor tremendously for naming that airport as an airport. I went to a lot to have that airport. So naming it after me, he couldn't have to do it, but he did it, and I thank him most sincerely, and I will not stop, never stop thanking him. What he's doing now 
Yes, he's taking a different direction. He's starting an airline, which is good. It's needed. From the day the first airplane touched down at the airport in September 2009, aviation development has remained a priority of successive administrations in the state. Apart from continuing with the commendable efforts of developing infrastructure at the Victor Atta International Airport, Governor Dombe Emanuel has added pep to the story of aviation development in Aquaibum State. With world-class facilities, requisite infrastructure, manpower training and airline operation, Aquaibum has changed the narrative of the aviation sector in Nigeria. Play policy to the economy of our future. We are quite serious, we are quite on point, we are quite on track. Already uh, at this advanced stage. So let's see what will happen in terms of cargo operations and all other operations that I want to run. Within the airport facility, we have seven projects. Seven projects, let me start by listing the maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility, the international terminal building, the apron. Access route, we have the parallel taxiway, we also have the self city, you know, camera uh, projects, and as well as the VIP car park. So, if you count, you have seven that is within the airport. In terms of percentage completion, currently we are at 97 percent. People who want to see economic activities, they want to see you know, activities taking place within the, the MRO. A lot of um, you know, airline operators are quite interested. A major component of the airport is a maintenance, repair and overhaul MRO facility. This facility is, is uh, quite big. It's the, the biggest in, in West, Western and Central Africa. And um, definitely, as I said before, it's, we are proud to be part of this. This, this uh, hangar will take two 747 aircraft at the same time. It's got 12,000 square meters. It's got all the facilities for maintenance in terms of workshops and all aspects of the plane in terms of all the checks can be done in this facility. A lot of employment opportunities within a very short period of time once that MRO, you know, is young to open. Being the only of its kind in the West African sub-region, the MRO, when operational, will enhance the foreign earnings of Nigeria as airlines in West Africa and Central Africa that hitherto shop for repairs in developed countries will now begin to patronize the MRO at the Victor Atta International Airport. Thus, positioning the Victor Atta International Airport MRO as the newest bride for all aircraft repairing companies across the globe. This facility is, is one of the best facilities uh, compared to other places in the world, Europe, Europe, America, South Africa for that matter. From, from what we've created here is not to, to, to stand back for any other facility like this in the world. He's trying to just be a little bit modest by saying this is the biggest facility in West Africa. Actually, it's the biggest facility in Africa. You can't find this anywhere in Africa. You can take two 747-800 series. You can take eight of our A220-300 series. You can take all our CRJs for now. So, you can imagine, and I'm sure you've walked around us, all installations are near completion right now. And uh, you can imagine we are the newest bride for all the aircraft maintenance companies across the globe. As of today, we've gotten offers from so many of these aircraft maintenance companies. And you can imagine how this will end for an exchange to the state. Uh, it's better imagined uh, at this time for now. When we experience it, it will be a different story. The new terminal building at the airport is another testimony to the enviable strides that Aquaibum State has made in aviation development. Obviously, the smartest airport terminal in this part of the world is 100% structurally completed. Right now we are 100% complete as far as the structural aspect of the work is concerned. The permanent terminal building for Victor Ota International Airport, uh, essentially two wings, the domestic wing and the international wing. 
What that simply means is that uh, apart from the regular CRJs that uh, Ibom A is flying now, uh, the A220s up to the Boeings will still be received here for those that are doing international flights and even for transfer passengers. Uh, within the terminal itself, there are a lot of facilities that uh, makes it uh, up to date. Uh, and uh, even the aspect of smart installations, smart energy provisions and equipment. Uh, one of the high points of this terminal building, we uh, deliberately trying to build green, eliminating carbon as much as uh, possible. Uh, in this terminal building, I think this is the first in the country where, as a transfer passenger, you can be transferred within the building. The airport is designed so that any passenger that arrives from the drop-off can be processed to take off within six minutes. And you know that efficiency is what the most uh, terminal designs is all about. Within the terminal, even before COVID came, this design was done before COVID. But even before then, there are dedicated areas for quarantine, medical center, port health facilities, there are uh, some temporary deten detention spaces for, you know, uh, male and female deportee lounges, visa processing, a lot of facilities that makes these airports about the best. The main structural work is near completion. The smart part of it is not just the structural work. Even though the smart part will also, the flow is also, you can take that from the design. You can also see the roof. The roofing is in line with probably what I've been explaining. I can assure you we have about 58 containers on ground with all the escalators and all the lifts and other installation materials that we need to do here. I stand bold to say that this will still maintain the smartest terminal building as of today in Africa. I don't know what other countries will do tomorrow. But I think what people should look at in Aquaibum is not just the buildings, it's not just the infrastructure that we put in. It's the question there is, how can a subnational take on this level of responsibility? These are not small projects. These are massive national projects. As of today, there is no country in West Africa that has an MRO. I stand to be corrected. Not even one. Some countries in West Africa, we are hearing that, you know, the Western world are even helping them with feasibility studies. Here we are, we have an MRO that is complete, 84%. We have a terminal building that will compete with any terminal building in the world in terms of smartness, in terms of functionality, in terms of what is designed for security, safety, everything put together. It is designed to cope with the high volume of passengers that will be utilizing the facility when international flight operations begin. Governor Dobby Manuel iced the kick of aviation development in Aquaibum by conceptualizing and bringing to fusion Nigeria's only state-owned airline, Ibom Air. Since commencing commercial operations on Friday, June 7, 2019, the airline has become the darling of air travelers and reference points by stakeholders in terms of efficient service delivery. You know, Akwebom is the only state in Nigeria that has an air, 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 airplane and we are enjoying it. And we wish every other step also take a look from what Aquarium State is doing. Today is the second time I use Ibum A. I so enjoy it so much. It was okay. Comfortable. I enjoyed the ride, the crew, the passengers, all the workers are wonderful. I've got all the way from London. I arrived this morning and I uh, booked Ibum A to come in about 2 p.m. Exactly 2 p.m. we departed Abuja. And exactly 3 p.m. we arrive at Uyo, which is very interesting. And uh, that's one of the things I like about uh, Ibum Air. With a three-pronged strategy of scheduled reliability, on-time departures and excellent service, Ibum Air has redefined the Nigerian airspace. Thus, customers have quickly warmed up to its unique services. The overwhelming acceptance and goodwill has resulted in regular high demand of tickets on all its routes by air traveling Nigerians. Kwaibom people must travel. You know, people must also come to Kwaibom for 
you know, investments and a lot of, a lot of uh, other activities. So if Ibom A is not flying, if government is not supporting, therefore it will hamper so much. For always delivering value to customers, Ibom Air won the 2020 and 2021 award for best airline in Nigeria, in addition to other corporate awards. In just three years, Ibom Air parades a fleet of seven aircraft comprising five Bombardier CRJ-900 and two Airbus A220-300 series. It has executed about 22,000 flights, lifting over 1,500,000 passengers to seven destinations in Nigeria. It is heartwarming that airline is set to start flying a Kwaibom flag into other destinations in West Africa. I'm happy it's happening in my state. I think this is the first in the country and I'm taking advantage. Today it is here, it is a great experience for everybody. I want to tell everybody out there that this thing is real. You know, initially we thought it was just a political thing, but now we have seen it is not a political anything. It is something that is real. It's a good thing for the state and for the nation at large. I believe in Ibom Air. I thank God for the government of the day and I pray they should continue with their good work. We really appreciate it. With a 3.6 kilometers runway, a taxiway with five connections to runway and capable of serving as an alternative runway, 80% completed. The Victor Atai International Airport boasts of adequate and best lighting facilities, instruments and other infrastructure that make for aviation best practices as obtained in advanced climbs around the world. We are using the highest uh, specification. There's five connection between the runway and the taxiway. The width is 60 meter. We are now about more than 80 percent on the taxiway uh, progress. Then we will start the shoulders macadam. We have 30 meter shoulders, 15 right and 15 left. It's showing. It's a clean, ready for the macadam. Uh, after the macadam, that we can call it phase two. It will be ready for wearing course, the final, uh, the final layer of asphalt, and that's all. Then after this one, only there will be the uh, airfield lighting. This uh, taxiway, we divide it to uh, two parts. Phase one is like about 1.5 kilometer. It's done completely, uh, done to the marking level. Very soon, by grace of God, the good Aqua Ebon people and all the Nigerians, they will enjoy Aqua Ebon International Airport and they will enjoy the state. Because really, the state is uh, in fast progress in everything. And the airport is one of the biggest projects in the state, and it's the face of the state. Training and development of human capacity in the aviation sector has also remained a top priority of the Governor Emmanuel administration. Recently, 42 Aquaibum indigents were selected via an online application process for training as pilots at the Airbus Flight Academy in France. We already have people being trained at the Airbus Academy as pilots, as engineers. That would not have happened if this vision wasn't uh, seen through. And so, for us in Aquaibum State, for us in the State Executive Council, for us as citizens of Aquaibum, this is a period for us to hold our shoulders high sincerely in the Committee of Nations to say that we've birthed a product, a brand, you know, that can stand international standards. You see, you see foreigners come. Ibom Air is their preferred airline because it, it gives them reminiscences of where they are coming from. Indeed, with plans for the training of more pilots, aeronautic engineers and other professionals, coupled with scheduled delivery of additional 10 air buses, Aquabum is set for accelerated aviation sector development. Truly, aviation sector development in Nigeria may still be far from the ideal. Aquabum State has no doubt given Philip to the industry and the consequence of the positive strides is set to change the business and investment color of Nigeria and the entire Gulf of Guinea for the better. Investment bride. It's Nigeria's best kept secret. It is where most investors want to come. You can name them. A lot of um, 
companies are here and more are coming because we have a peaceful environment, we have ease of doing business enhanced by government. We now have a, a land acquisition scheme that is seamless. You have a foreign direct investment technical committee headed by people who know business. You have a one-stop investment shop that has been created so investors don't have to roam around looking for who does what. He just sits in a place and all he needs to run his investment is there. Which is why the governor is very particular about the gateways to development, as he calls them. He talks about the air, talks about the land, and he talks about the sea. So even the investors who are coming for Ibom Deep Sea Port will fly in first because the, the port is here to be operational. So it is easier for them to land in New York, do their businesses, and get back to their base. So Ibom Air must not just be seen as a transport means, but as a catalyst for development of many other sectors. With progressive aviation development strides that make for easy connectivity and ease of doing business for air travelers in Nigeria, the administration of Governor Emmanuel has demonstrated huge capacity to stimulate the economy for sustainable growth. Aquibum Bacons, come, live, work and invest. Waibum State, the land of promise. Governor Domi Manuel is fulfilling the promise. Excellent infrastructure, industrialization, aviation development, agricultural revolution, human capacity development, giant leap in healthcare and educational development, peace and security, hospitable people, tourist delight and investors heaven. Join the train now. Come, live and work in Aquaibum State. Governor Dom Emmanuel, the completion agenda on course. Only God. Powered by the Ministry of Information and Strategy, Aquibum State.